Hello viewers, greetings to you and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to size uh, a solar battery bank. In my last video, I showed you how to prepare a load analysis table. That before you design a solar power system, before you install a solar system, you need to know, uh, you need to carry out a load audit or an energy audit in, the, uh, in, the, in your client's place or where you want to install that system. The essence of this load audit is for you to know the number of loads the person is going to use and their wattage. From their wattage, you have the total wattage, that's the total power of the loads. Then from there, you ask your clients how many hours is he going to use those uh, appliances per day. From there, you now get the total daily energy consumption of the load. So you can watch my previous video on how to prepare a load analysis table. So from the load analysis table, we have uh, um, two parameters that we are going to use the total power and the total daily energy consumption. I told you that we are going to use the total power to size the inverter that will power the loads. Then the total daily energy consumption is what we are going to use to size the battery bank, to size the solar panels. Then from the solar panels, that is from the solar panels open circuit voltage and they are short circuit current, uh, the, the, the parameters will help us or will guide us in sizing our charge controller the cables and also the breakers so for today the first component we are going to uh, size is the battery bank now before you size a battery bank there are a few things you need to take into consideration now the first is the depth of discharge that is the god now all batteries they have what is called depth of discharge and number of circles so um a battery manufacturer uh, may tell you that if you discharge uh, their battery at 50 uh, percent uh, DOD. The, uh, um, the circles of that battery will give you maybe 500 uh, circles. So the DOD is the amount of energy that you'll be taking out from the battery per day. So if you have a battery here and here is 100 percent, that is it is fully charged. Now and you want to take 50 percent of this every day. Let's assume this is a 200 arms battery so you are taking um 50 percent that is your dod is 50 percent so here you have a, a 50 percent dod then if you take every day what will be left here is 100 ah then you are taking 100 ah now if you add them together it will give you 200 ah so the depth of discharge is the amount of energy that you can take from that battery every day so if your dod is 50 percent if it is 70 percent you know that you'll be taking 70 percent of the energy that is stored in that battery every day to power your loads now for this uh for our calculation we are going to make use of we are assuming it is a uh, a flooded battery so we are going to use a dod of uh, 70 of 70 percent which is the same as 0.7 so this is what we are going to use so the second one is days of autonomy the days of autonomy here refers to the number of days the battery bank will sustain the loads without receiving charge from either the solar panels, the, uh, the grid that is power from the grid, or from the generator. You know, at times we have cloudy days. We may have during rainy season. You may have maybe two or three days. It will be rainy. So uh, this one you need to discuss with your clients. So because if you increase the days of autonomy, the cost of the system will also, <coughs> will also increase. So you need to explain to your clients. So if that is what he wants, uh, he wants two days of autonomy, three days of autonomy, you can do that calculation or sizing for him. But for the purpose of this uh, uh, calculation, we are going to use one day of autonomy. We are going to use one day. The next one is the nominal system voltage. The nominal system voltage is a reference, is a reference voltage that must correspond with the inverter's DC input voltage. This is our inverter. This side is AC and this side is DC. So all inverters, they have DC input and AC output. Now the inverter converts the DC, that is direct current, that the energy that is stored in the battery is DC. So the inverter converts this, this, uh, this uh, DC to AC. So all inverters, they have their reference voltage. They have their nominal system voltage. We have uh, 12 volts inverters. We have 24 volts we have uh, 48 volt inverters and so on. So you must uh, choose a reference, a nominal system voltage for uh, your battery bank because the 
battery bank voltage must correspond with the inverter DC input voltage. So for this calculation, we are going to use 24 uh, volts. Then the next one is the inverter efficiency. All inverters have the, their efficiencies. Some are 85, uh, some 90, like good quality inverters, you have up to 90%. The efficiency here is that if this is your, your, your inverter and this is your DC input, and this is your, your AC uh, output. You have your AC output here. Now, this inverter collects the DC from the battery and converts it to AC. So during the process of conversion, there are a lot of losses because it is converting from DC to AC. So during this conversion, there will be losses. So the efficiency of the inverter tells us how smooth and how efficient that inverter will be able to convert this DC uh, to AC. So for this, we are going to take 90%, uh, which is the same as 0 0.9. So these are the factors we need to take into consideration when sizing our battery bank. So we are going to go straight into um, sizing the battery bank for the load analysis table that we prepared in the last video. All right, now from uh, the load analysis table, we have uh, two parameters, the total power. We have the total power and the total daily energy consumption and the total power from our calculation there is 638 watts and our total daily energy consumption is 2542 watt hour 2542 watt hour so this one we'll use it to size the inverter and this we'll use it to size our battery bank and uh our battery bank and solar panels so our total daily energy consumption is 2000 total daily energy uh, consumption is uh, 2542 42 watt hour so the first step in sizing uh, a battery bank if you have your daily energy consumption we say step one. Step one, divide this value, that is the total daily energy consumption, divide it by the inverter's efficiency. And we say our inverter efficiency is 90%, which is the same as 0 0.9. So we are going to divide, step one, divide this value, the total daily energy consumption, by the inverter efficiency. So this will be 2004, 2005, Four to watt hour divided by zero point nine. So this will give us two thousand eight two four point four watt hour. So this is the first step. Two thousand eight two four point four uh, watt hour. Now step two, we are going to divide this value, the total daily energy consumption. We are going to divide it by the depth of discharge (DOD), and we said. We are going to use 70% as our depth of discharge, which is, which is the same as 0 0.7. So we'll divide this 2,824.4 divide 0.7. This will give us approximately 4,035 uh, uh, watts hour. Then we move to step Step three, we'll divide this value by uh, the system, the nominal system voltage. And we said our system voltage is 24 volts. So we are going to divide this value by 24. So we have 4,035 divided by 24 volt. This is what uh, our, to give us the size of the battery. That's the battery capacity that we need. So if we divide 4,035 watt hour by 24 volts, we will have uh, 168, 168.125 amps hour. We can just approximate this to 200 amps hour. So this is our battery bank, 24 volts, 200 amps hour. So this is how to size uh, the battery bank of your solar system.
you follow these steps. Step one, step two, step three. Before you go into these steps, you must know your total daily energy consumption. So this is the battery bank capacity that we need uh, to store this energy. Remember that the solar panels will generate this energy every day. We will we'll, we'll also design the solar panels that will be able to generate this energy any, every day. Because this is the energy that is consumed by the loads. It's just like uh, your water. You have your water uh, reservoir here. Maybe your daily water uh, usage is uh, maybe 2,000 liters. And if you have 2,000 liters, it means you must have a reservoir that will be able to accommodate this uh, capacity, 2,000 liters, that your pump will be pumping every day. So this is how to size a solar uh, battery bank. Now, in my next video, we'll move to sizing the solar panels that will generate the energy. Then after that, we'll also be sizing other solar components. So thank you for watching. Like the video, share, and also uh, comment. Thank you very much uh, for watching. See you in my next video. Thank you.